like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Good morning, everybody. Um, while Mr. Chapter 2 is over there wrapping stuff from our milk glass pop up sale, which went so well. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. We've never really done it that short of notice before, but that was pretty fun. And you guys seem to enjoy it. So hopefully we get to do that again. But um, this is for today's sale. And I'm gonna post this video. Uh, I'll have it up first for a few hours for our channel members. And then I'll let it go live to all of our subscribers. So here's all the things that I have picked while he's wrapping things over there. So here we go, okay. So I have this little lot of Disney figurines. We have a lady and the tramp. We have a little baby Shimba. We have uh, Dumbo, so cute. They, both of these say, um, this one and this one say Japan. This one, I can't read what's under that little sticker, but I was figuring to maybe do them as a lot as an offer up. Um, then we have, well, we didn't pay this. This isn't our information. That's an old tag from the person we bought this stuff from. Um, but we'll sell, I don't know, this might be an offer. It might be a flat price. I'm not sure yet. Then I have this eyeball wash glass. Might be a little flat priced item. And we have some, like a cloisonne, like enameled over brass little trinket dish. This I thought was beautiful. Hand painted flowers on this ashtray. Oh, it's got, got a little blurry there. Here's the information on the back. So that might be a little flat priced piece. Um, we'll see, because people usually like the ashtray stuff. They collect tabacchiana and stuff like that. Um, but we'll see about that. Then we have this pretty, this is a bigger one, this little pitcher here, amberina color. It does have a little bit of glow to it. Then we have two more paperweights. So the other day we had a pumpkin. This one also says Lennox on the bottom, if you can see that. This one um, doesn't say anything on the bottom. So we have an orange and a pear, and those will probably be off-rep items. We have this cool uh, amber hobnail. This was probably a little ashtray. It's too small to be, well, a coaster, too thick, you know? So, okay, then we have this. This I'm conflicted about because there's lots of listings that say that it's Fenton, but then there's a couple of listings that say that this these are like made in China. <laughs> I don't know. And if you look up solds, all the solds are saying that they're Fenton. So, because I know, you know, there's a lot of reproduction things out there. But I also know Fenton did stuff for like um, Teleflora and stuff. So this could be one of those. But anyways, it's not signed or anything like that. But on eBay, they do sell for a good $40. So I figured we could do that in the sale. Um, this also, this is a piece of to the best of my knowledge, uh, Jefferson Glass. So Jefferson Glass is the one that I can never remember their name. And um, they're the ones that in the videos, I'm like, well, it looks like Northwood, but there's another company and I can't ever remember. It's Jefferson Glass. And it looks so similar to Northwood stuff because Jefferson Glass um, sold their molds to Northwood. So it makes a lot of sense why they look so similar, right? But this is a beautiful piece, so this is going to be an offer up. Then we have this Fenton green. We had, we just had something like this, right? And the bottom was a different color. Yeah. It's this a beaded something. Beaded cable, I think. Something like that. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> sounds Go good. It. Go with it. So it's like a green opalescent. It's very cool. That's going to be an offer up. We have this Viking glass. Or wait, no, this one was Fenton, right? I think this pattern is for Fenton. Either way, this one's gonna be an offer up. There's too many dang glass companies to remember. Then we just sold the other one of this the other day. 
This is an Egyptian perfume bottle. Now, the lady that we bought these from, she like she knew where she got things from. So she was she's a military wife, so they traveled a lot um, and lived in a lot of different countries. So she said when she lived in Saudi Arabia, um, she picked up a lot of things. So this was one of them, and she, she knows the dates and stuff. So she was like, oh, I got this in 94. So they're at least like 30 years old, just about. So this one has an art glass camel in there with a pretty heart on the outside. And then it's got a flower on this side. But these are like Egyptian perfume bottles, very delicate. Same with this. This is a nesting doll, and she's a Christmas one. And she got it overseas as well. So it has the pieces on the inside. I just can't do it with one hand. We have this beautiful yellow glass swan. Now, I don't think this one lit up, but it's really nicely made. So that might be an offer up. Then we have this art glass dish. This reminds me of like some... Um, tribal vibes you know very sahara desert like kind of like these guys or something like that very cool colors in here um there's the bottom so that's going to be an offer up we have this amber donkey pulling a cart i've never had for one an amber one usually they're pottery and two or clear glass um this big so we're going to try that one we have a pink iridescent Fenton, I think, was this cabbage rose or something pattern? Um, so we have this. Hey, you guys, be nice. Then we have this beast right here. Look at those bumps on there. Those are giant, these hobnails. So those two pieces are going to be off reps. Let me come back this way. I know, butters. So these were bought at around the same time when she was in Saudi Arabia. We have this carved elephant and inside the elephant, oh, just walk across all the glass. Mm -hmm. Inside the elephant is a little baby elephant in there. So we have that piece. And then we have this um, like this antelope. Is this an antelope? I think so. We're gonna go with that. Okay, we have those. And then these are Giuseppe Armani. Now, um, there he sells all kinds of different, or they sell all kinds of different ones. Um, he's a sculptor, and he would make these pieces. And there's different sizes. He, they were made, some were made for Disney. Now these were actually free gifts to members. So these are like little smaller ones. So she's like she looks like a flapper, a 1920s flapper. Um, she's called Star. So you'll see the Giuseppe, made in Florence, Florence, Italy, Giuseppe Armani. Um, and the information from 2000. So we have these two different ones. And this one's holding, this lady is holding birds. So there's that one. I showed you those. We have some more little bits of milk glass. I have this silver crest uh, little basket. Then we have, we have, you know, the famous drunk guy holding on to the lamppost. This is a metal ashtray. So we have that. Now these are really cool. These are hand carved. They're camels. They're all interlocking. So they all interlock just like that. And you put them down and they open up. She got these when she was in Saudi Arabia as well. And they hold things so they can hold big things, small things. We put like big trays on here. You could use them as like legs. Um, um, like little, I put a teacup and saucer. It fits right in there. Aaron put like a big box and it held the big box, you know, cause it presses, presses it down and it is like a sturdy leg. Um, or you can leave them like this. You can have them. We have these, these beautiful baskets here. They can be displays for your baskets see i'm up so early it's dark outside still <laughs> oh, so oh look yeah we have a bigger one look at this one 
if they like them. Yeah, if you guys like this. Comments, oh, this one's up. upside down. That's his feet. There's his head. There See go. all the camel heads right there? Isn't that neat? That's very and cool. they can hold things, but all that wood is interlocking somehow, and they get they get it to go together. So if you like the bigger ones, just let us know. I just I was trying these. I've never tried something like this before. So. So let's see. Then we, we're going to do this fruit set as a lot. So that's going to be a lot as an offer up. I have two brass pieces over there that will be offer ups. So we have an elephant and um, I don't What is that? A peacock? I don't know if that's a peacock. Who knows? Then, oh my gosh, you won't believe it. I have Avon. So these were cool. These look like salt and pepper shakers, but they, back in the day, they were bath oil holders. But now... Like, they're in such good shape. You could take, I think they have like a little, the little paper stopper is still in here. You can just take that little paper stopper out and use it for salt and pepper or, you know, whatever. Um, you don't have to use them, I guess, but whatever spices you want to use them for. But they're like a cool milk glass with this green flower all over it. Thought it was neat. We have a purple glass swan. It's a little smaller one smaller one smaller swan these are stunning now i when i was looking up information on these i don't know nobody really had any they just called them a satin glass ruffled vase but they're beautiful so we're gonna try these as an offer up probably separate because if it was together i'd probably have to start them kind of higher but then i know at the same time people might want to pair so I'm kind of conflicted, but they're probably going to be separate. Then we have this um, whiskey decanter. It's like a blue, like slag. You can see some of the white in there. Uh, it's from the 1950s. It's in good shape. This is probably just going to be a flat price, this one. We'll see. And then the last thing is these cool baskets that I was showing you guys. She got these again in the early 90s in Saudi Arabia. So the lids lift off of there. So anyways, I hope you guys like the things that we've picked for you for today's sale. Again, it's at 2 p.m. Eastern, so I hope you guys can make it there. Um, so until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's so beautiful.